Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. We're here in Greece and we continue with this series of interviews with some of the most interesting individuals in the luxury space. Today is going to be with Maya Vander. She's a real estate agent and broker and one of the experts, also cast member of the famous Netflix show Selling Sunset. And she's going to talk about how he has, she has transformed her career through the show and also how she's doing tremendous between Los Angeles and Miami when it comes to real estate. So Maya, Hi. what's going on? How are I'm, you? It seems like everybody and their mamas are in Greece right now. <laughs> yeah, everybody's here. Everybody's in Greece right now. In fact, everybody from your crew. I saw them the other day at Principote. I trust me, I see them all over. I'm getting them, the pictures on my Google feed. Um, yeah, oh. they, were, they flew to Italy and then they went to Greece. And I think production is filming uh, right now. They, they flew as well. So, yeah. Amazing. So, because you are also expecting the third one coming this December, right? I'm telling you, to, uh, I'm just like looking at like uh, someone said like about my accent. I'm ex expecting a third one, a boy. Uh, I'm doing December, Christmas baby. So, yeah, I'm excited. It was all planned. You know, it wasn't a surprise. I was... I was mm -hmm in a mission to get it done. <laughs> there you go, super matter. You're gonna definitely inspire a lot of women. Now, let me make a quick introduction because I'm very excited to have you on the show. So for those that are tuning in now, Maya Vander, she's the superstar in real estate. She's the cast member mm -hmm. of Selling Sunset, doing real estate in Los Angeles and Miami. You're currently based in Miami, originally from Israel. That's where some of the accent comes from. In and... case you didn't recognize my accent, because it's not strong enough. All <laughs> no, right, right. I love your accent, by the way. We all have an accent. I love so... your accent, too. Well, mine is from Spain. So I'm curious on how are you managing to do everything? Because you're still part of the show of Selling Sunset, which, you know, you were in L.A., now you're in Miami. You're doing real estate in two of the most predominant markets in the States, and you have two kids with the they're coming up. Like, how do you manage all of that? Yeah, so I don't know. Good question. You know, uh, I tried to shift my business, obviously, more towards Miami now. And I had a great year in Miami. Uh, the market, as you know, because you're in Miami, it's on fire here. And I'm very lucky and blessed to be successful in Miami because I'm still a new agent in, in the town. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm trying to build my business. In LA, I still have a couple of, uh, obviously, clients that I know. But it's not as easy to maintain the relationship when I'm in Miami. Obviously, we're doing the show and it's hard to say no to be part of, of, of Selling Sunset because it's, it's a great opportunity and I'm very lucky and thankful to be part of this. And it's been an amazing ride. And somehow I manage. I have a supportive husband. My in-laws came to help me that with the helps. kids. It helps. <laughs> yes, that's very important. And you've built that support system yourself because your energy is so great that I'm sure that everybody around you is always on board to support you because I got to tell you, you're very special. Now, a question for you, Maya, because everybody is, okay, I know Selling Sunset, or sometimes they not know, but what was your journey? You know, it's definitely real estate, I tell you, because the TV, the TV is great, but how long we're going to do Selling Sunset? I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to do Selling Sunset with a third kid, but it's, I always call it, in a way, the five minutes of fame, but real estate, I've been doing it for almost 10 years. So it's hard for me to just let go completely. How does, obviously, the TV world has helped you with real estate? You know, I feel like I do a lot of online marketing. And before, those leads not, were not always loyal. But I feel like when, when a client recognizes I am on the show and I do real estate, it gives me good credibility. So I think it does help. That being said, I invest a lot in marketing myself to get clients. And some of them don't know the show. So it's a mix. I think it's a great exposure and it's free marketing, frankly. Drama gets you more screen time and gets you a lot of publicity. That's and, true. And Christine always says, well, Maya has a strong opinion and she doesn't always share. I do have a lot of strong opinions, but sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't be sharing too much. Yes, I want to be honest, but I also don't want to insult anyone. So I try to yes. keep it sometimes to myself. That's a decision I make. And you know what? At the end of the day, like I do real estate full time. So if I'm going to go crazy and it could hurt my real estate career. So far, when I'm reading at the comments, everybody's like, oh, my ass. I know. I'm trying so to look nice. at you. I'm trying to yeah. read. 
to, yeah. to read it. Someone asked if I'm in the new season. Yes, I am in the new season. I've been flying every week. So good that you're sharing this because you're very honest and that's what really makes people engage with you. You're somebody that is transparent and very inspirational for many, not only women out there, but for any individual that is getting into real estate or is currently in real estate. Because how important has been for you personal branding? I work on my personal brand right now, my Maya Vander Group. I think it's important to just look apart. Although, like, sometimes when I go to show and I tell you, I, I look like more like a homeless than a real estate agent. I just put, like, tennis <laughs> shoes and I don't know, always dress up like Selling Sunset. Obviously, I put more work in Selling Sunset. I think it's important to present yourself well um, and have, you know, a nice logo, nice branding for yourself. And it's, it's a combination. But uh, I think part of the personal branding is knowledge and you need to know what you're talking about and you need to be educated in real estate and just in general, I guess. The, the buyers and sellers, they have so much information online today. Like they really, they are really savvy. They know what they're doing. They know what they're looking Sometimes for. Sometimes more than you, yeah. So yeah, sometimes they do. Up. They do, they do. So I need, to, I need to keep up. I need to know what I'm talking about. And for me, Miami is in a new market generally. I've been, I've been here for 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 quite some time, but it takes time to know all the buildings and to know the different locations and yes. area. So you always have to learn. And so what do you think about these new developments that are coming up, like the Waldorf Astoria, the Baccarat, the Aston Martin? I love it. I just came back from Sunny Isle. I was actually touring a penthouse in the Jade Signature for 30 million. Okay. I'm, going to put, I'm going to do it on my reel later. I know I loved it, but I'm like, okay, where do I find that buyer? I, I love that. I, and I love all the projects. And... Um, I'm still supposed to tour the world of Astoria in downtown. I know it's going to be great. I just, you know, when we moved here four years ago, uh, Brickell was, was, you know, fin you know, a couple of buildings were just finished in SLS, SLS locks. And I just like seeing all these like fancy, nice buildings. And, yes. I, I, and so many people are moving down to Miami. I think it's so much more affordable than California and New York. You just get more for oh your God. money. No, but Maya, I have a question because obviously a lot of people that watch you, come also from the real estate industry. And even if it's not just real estate, something that could be similar to it that you need to present yourself. Some people are like, wow, you're such an inspiration. You're on TV. You're doing your personal branding. You have two kids, a third coming up. You're selling the most amazing homes. How do you have time to do all of that? But still, how do I get myself? What's the first gear for personal branding? You know, for it, 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 you have to like figure out what you want to present. And, and how you want to be portrayed. So for me, generally, like, it's, it's classy, it's luxury. And whether if it's the way you dress or... I know it sounds shallow, but also the car you drive, unfortunately. It's just part of the game. And, and just logo. I think your logo is very important. You know, like, for me, like, I'm, I'm just very honest. Like, I can't bullshit around. So that's part of my personal branding. I'm very, I'm very blunt. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes too direct, but it, it is part of me. And, and uh, I, that's what I think I give to my clients. I'm, I'm just honest with them. I don't try to push them to do things they're not comfortable with. And they, and they believe me. They, they trust me. And that's part of my personal branding, uh, mm -hmm. including the strong accent, I guess. That's, I, can, I cannot get rid of. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. Anybody that comes from Israel initially will be like, oh, my God. And then, you'll, you know, it's, it, for me, it happens the same way with the Spanish accent. People told me at the beginning, don't change it because that automatically, you know, triggers people to ask you, where are you from? Oh, from Spain. No way from Spain. Oh, then yeah. you speak in Spanish, you speak the language. So I think that what you said is so true. Stay true to yourself, to your values, your DNA, your DNA equals your values. And when you connect with people's DNA, then the whole thing flows. So yeah, at the end of the day, you know what? I am who I am. And, you know, for selling sense, I'm very, I'm very simple person. Um, and I guess I want to say down to earth. So, and I, I'm a real estate agent. Yeah, we have the success of the show and it's amazing. And people recognize me, but at the end of the day, I'm a real estate agent. That's what I do. So I think it just stuck to me and, and that it is, it is what it is. It's, that's my, my brand, I guess. Just being so, me. Maya, do you have a mentor or something that inspire you to become who you are today? I would say my mom. I mean, she, I wouldn't say a mentor, but my mom is, is always an inspiration. Um, she's a very strong woman. So I always like, like to look up to her. When I did start at real estate, yes, I, I had coaches as well, real estate coaches. I, I, I love any seminar coaching. I love that stuff. If I could spend more money on that, I would. 
Uh, we mentioned earlier, we spoke on the phone, my friend Tony yeah. is a coach. Tony, yeah. I, I love this. I actually have his book right now, uh, The Social Agent. Social Agent, yeah. I'm going to look into it because I need to do more reels, more videos. I know it's like the thing right now and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's another full-time job. Um, but, but you have to progress. So every coaching and mentor, um, I, I just like successful people. I, I listen to successful people. And sometimes, you know, people like, let's say they hate Jeff Bezos, but why? Why would you hate someone who is working his ass up and, and you know, started from selling books in a garage and now he's like, have this empire. Good for him. And, you know, if he wants to fly to the moon and do an, a spaceship, it's his decision. Like why people hate rich people, I don't understand. I think we should always aim to, to achieve and, and don't hate. So all these like successful people are in a way kind of mentor. Like you want to yeah. reach, reach for the skies, I guess. And yeah. Learn from everybody. You can always learn from those that have achieved success, right? Yeah. Why but, not? You know, unless you are some trust fund spoiled kid who just got money. Okay. Whatever. But if someone yeah. works out for their money, why hate on them when they are actually already rich? Mm-hmm. So that's so true. That's so yeah. true. And those that achieve that level is because at some point they were adding some value. You know, you want to become yeah. a person of value, not just success. So, no, I mean, don't, don't, all of that is amazing. Now, for you, I mean, I'm really curious to know what's going to be the next step for my Avander. Like, what are you going to be aiming First, to I have to do two more seasons of Selling Sunset. I'm already drained from season four that we just finished filming. And we are preparing for season five. And I'm already like mentally, oh my gosh, how am I going to do it? But because, you know, flying and with COVID and all that crazy nonsense. But um, so we will, I'll do season five and season four selling sunset. Um, real estate, I really want to get my broker's license. I'm not opening a company tomorrow. It's a lot of liability, but I want to have it. And really like elevate my business in Miami with real estate. And, you know, I'm also like a mother. So enjoying time with my kids when I can. And um uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty boring, stable life, work, you know, nothing too crazy. I, I, I want to see what opportunity the show gives me, potentially doing maybe another company or something that re- evolved with kids. But I don't know. I have like a lot mm-hmm. of ideas, but I just need to find out how I execute some of them. And, you know, it's, it's time consuming and it's a lot. So I, I would say right now, focus more on real estate for sure. Step by step, step by step. Exactly. I can go all over now, the place. So if anybody wants to reach out to you or they want to connect, what would be the easiest way? Only Instagram? if they want to buy and sell. <laughs> if you, yeah, there you if go. You just want, <laughs> don't waste my time. But no, I have my, <laughs> I have my email uh, on my IG. It's, it's my at myavando.com. Uh, people can acquire information there. Uh, and I do try to respond to people, but sometimes it could get overwhelming. Um, especially once again. You're a star. Is... You're a star. I guess. <laughs> you know, it's so, so funny. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here at the villa with Amari. He's a, an actor. He was the Sucre in Prison Break. And we're walking through, through Greece and Mykonos here. And everybody's like, oh, picture, 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 picture. And I saw also the people from Selling Sunset, your friends. And all of them were getting also people approached and said like, hey, can we take pictures? So, if that happens in person, imagine online. Everybody's like texting. So it, it, yeah, I'm sure you are overwhelmed yeah. with messages. You know, I feel like selling Sunset Success was um, obviously part of the reason was COVID. Everybody stayed home. They were bored. And selling Sunset is that show that you don't have to worry about anything. You just watch it. Um, and, it. and it's entertaining. So mm-hmm. it's, it's fun to be part of it for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you have two kids to attend, a husband as well. So... I'm taking my son to a swim lesson in like an hour or so. (laughs) Oh, wow. Amazing. Well, (laughs) that's a good time to do it in the summer. But anything else that we haven't touched that you would like to share? No, I mean, just keep watching Selling Sunset, guys. If you have any serious clients, serious, 10 million and up. I'm kidding. I also sell less with price point. Send me an email. And Selling Sunset Season 4, I don't know when it's going to come out. Hopefully... Hopefully early fall. We cannot, even if I know, I cannot say, but I would guess early mm-hmm. fall. Well, all of us will be tuning in to watch it. Thank you again, Maya, for your time. And we'll I look connect in to... Miami. Yeah. yeah, I'll see you in Miami. For now, it's uh, time to enjoy Europe. We'll be here yeah. with your peers from <laughs> the show. And Tell them I said enjoy. Bye. enjoy your time in Miami. We'll see each other soon. Thanks. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in.